here is another Hardy Weinberg example, and they are asking us to find all the frequencies of the alleles and the genotypes. So the question states the ability to taste the compound PTC is controlled by a dominant allele T. Individuals homozygous for the recessive allele, little t, are unable to taste PTC. In a genetics class of 125 students, 88 can taste this compound. Calculate the frequency of the big T and little t alleles in the population and the frequency of the genotypes. And we can assume Hardy-Weinberg to do this. So remember, we have two equations, the allele frequency equation, which is P plus Q equals one, and the genotype frequency equation, which is P squared plus two PQ plus Q squared equals one. And so the question says that 88 can taste PTC. And the first thing we want to do is figure out what variables that corresponds to. So 88 is actually P squared and 2PQ together because it's the frequency of big T, big T, and the frequency of big T, little t. So we only need one allele of big T in order to be able to taste PTC. And so we'll just write in our table here that the value combined of P squared and 2PQ is 88 out of 125. So the question asks us to find the allele frequencies and the genotype frequencies. So this is what we are looking for. We can start with Q squared. So we know that P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals one. And so Q squared is going to be equal to one minus that combination of P squared and 2PQ. So we know that Q squared is equal to 0 0.296. So we have found the frequency of little t, little t. Next, we can figure out what Q is by taking the square root of Q squared, and that equals 0 0.544, so we have the frequency of little t. Then we know that P plus Q equals one. By rearranging this equation, we get P equals one minus Q. So we can put P up here, which is the frequency of big T, and we've solved both of our allele frequencies. Next, we can find P squared. So that's just P times P. That equals 0 0.28. So we have our frequency of our big T, big T genotype. And then we can do 2 times P times Q to find the frequency of our heterozygote. Now we aren't done yet. What you want to do is double check your frequencies and make sure they add to one. So let's start with our allele frequencies. There's big T and little t. We want to make sure both of these add to one. So we do a check right now, and yes, they do. And then let's look at our genotype frequencies. So we have homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. We also want to do a check and make sure that they add to one, and yes, they do. So that's how you answer this question, and these are all of the allele frequencies and the genotype frequencies.